Welcome to part three of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, the ECW project. This is Ron Moore along with Gunstar Hero 21. Hi everybody. Or Green. Yes, that works too. So. Just like the turtles, Green. Yes. And it's been a while since Green's been with us. Yeah, it has been. It's also been a while since I've seen this game in action. Yep, Green is with us and he is audible. Yes, I sure am. I'm using new hardware for this special episode. Yeah. And uh, I know you're not aware, but uh, part of this whole LP is going to be pretty much uh, the video and audio is going to sound slow and laggy and some problems with the emulator. But, uh, oh, it's emulator. That's understandable. Yeah, but usually it's not like this in my videos, but oh well. Mm -hmm. So is this uh, one player, two controllers? No. That would be hilarious if you did that, though. Like, this is Turtles in Time? Yeah. I know. Yeah, this one is actually... Uh, me and me and a friend of mine have recorded this. But for this part, we're going to pretend like it's me and you playing. Uh, I'm okay with this. We're the two best characters in the game, so I'm okay with that. Yeah. As I explained in part one, on the bottom, it looks like Leo and Don are wearing Michelangelo's... Uh, uh, I band or whatever you call it. Yeah, I don't understand. Like it's, it's like um, they gave Michelangelo a camera and then he just started taking everyone's weapons while they were asleep. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I like Le Leonardo's ballerina spin there. Mhm. Mm that ballerina spin is so busted. Like as a move, it's so good. Yeah. So, um, I'm trying to remember, out of the Turtles trilogy that came out on the NES, this was the one that I actually played the least. Yeah. Um, obviously the one that everyone gets pissed off with because of the whole damn, that's the one I obviously remember the most. Wait, which one, what part? Um, not the arcade game, but the other Turtles game. Oh, the first one? Yeah, the first one. Yeah. I thought that game was okay. Yeah, it's not as bad as people claim it to be. I mean, that part is dumb, but it's not that bad. Yeah. I have fun childhood memories of that game. This one I didn't play till probably uh, as I grew up, became a teenager, I think. Uh, I didn't really play it that much when I was a kid. I remember it. I got my butt kicked at it. Um. For the most part, um, I was 17 when I first saw this, for the most part, because um, just nobody I knew owned it at the time. Yeah. And at the time, I believe it went up in price in places, so people just didn't buy it. Oh, nice. Oh, wait. <laughs> I ruined it by uh, grabbing him with my sword, throwing him instead. <laughs> Whoops. I still think that's, like, one of the most hilarious moves. Just stab someone and just throw them over you. Yeah. Is it... I like the time move where you just, they just, you just throw them back and forth. Like, psh, 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 just slam them to the ground, left and right. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you're talking about Turtles in Time. I don't know why I thought that was in this game. Yeah, sorry, I meant Turtles in Time, yeah. What is this, Double Dragon now? We got the woods in the background here. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, what are they shooting, like, tear gas or something? It, it's, it looked like talcum powder in your eyes. It just, just looked like you're crying because it's irritated your eyes. Whoa, the statues came to life. What is this, Mario RPG? Yeah, this is... This game just has all these... Like, the foot soldiers... They never fail to amuse because they just do all these ridiculous things. Yeah. Like, where are these guys coming from? That's obviously like a street lamp, but it's just like they're coming down indefinitely. They come out of nowhere if you remember the first movie. Oh, of course. I think that's just a recurring gag. Yeah. Oh man, speaking of the first movie... 
Uh, I found this detail years later, but like the whole Turtles costume, I didn't realize that the faces were animatronic and that Jim Henson did the costumes. Huh. Uh, I didn't know that until my uncle told me, because we just out of nowhere decided to watch that first movie. And we were looking at things that happened that will probably never happen to movies ever again, like when April got slapped at the beginning. Yeah. Now, like, you'll never see that in a movie nowadays. Hmm. Yeah, I think you will. In a movie like that, though, at the time, uh, <laughs> it's like, we have a message for you. <laughs> Shut it. Mm-hmm. Oh. And it's how uh, Raphael, Raphael die, like she's gonna do something. Yeah, exactly. I, so when I first saw that movie, I expected her to do something. Like, I kind of expected the same outcome, but her to still do more than what happened. Yeah. Well, she she will do something in the tournament fighting game for the Sega Genesis. Yeah, good old Sega Genesis. Too bad that version of tournament fighter sucked, but anyway, <laughs> to the ECW project. And I think, uh, yeah, this is this game is definitely not as good as the arcade game, a part two uh, for the NES. But it's a pretty fun though; it's real similar to it. Yeah, the arcade game that was on the NES was fantastic. A lot of people disagree with me, but that's because you know they're purists and like they swear by the arcade game, like the actual arcade. Yeah, well, of course, it's not gonna. Be arcade perfect. Oh yeah, of course not. I also like the added stuff that they put in the NES. Yeah. That purists. Uh, shout out to the purists. Yeah. What about the impurists? No. <laughs> Those are all the guys that are unsubscribing right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, look at these these foot soldiers. They're so strong. Is Watch out, these minivans might back into us. That's what I'm kind of expecting. Like, I'm expecting you to just beat all these enemies. Yeah. And then the, the car just backs up. Door open and everything. It just takes you. Yeah. Did I say minivan? That's not a minivan. It's a van. <laughs> yeah. Yo, it's like those vans that strangers <laughs> come up with. Yeah. And they're like, hey, you want some candy? I got some candy in the back. Yeah. A van. I live in a van down by the river! Ah, uh, good times. Also, I don't know what the hell you're fighting right now. Uh, Fox Soldiers, or the Stone Warriors, whatever they're called, that were uh, they're under under the command of General Trag from Dimension X. Uh, I remember General Trag, I don't remember his flunkies though. General Drag? What a drag. I fail. Oh, now throwing Chinese stars at us. See, you can deflect them back, but they can't hit them, that sucks. Yeah, um... I don't understand why that works, for the most part. And why it doesn't work? Yeah. That, uh, damn. Oh man, that's what. What is this? Looney Tunes now throwing an anvils at us? It's like Jim Anvil, not Heart. Exactly. It's just like it's doing all the things the cartoon never did that we all kind of wished would happen. Yeah. Right, now we're in the subway. All right, did you fight Bebop and Rocksteady already? Or yeah, I did. Damn, I missed it. The heck with those? What was that? A gun? Like, what the heck they have? I don't know. Guns, quote unquote, in this series have always looked really stupid and questionable. Yeah. Like. And the cartoon. In a cartoon, the lasers hardly ever hit anybody. Yeah. Did they ever hit anyone? I don't think so. Yeah, they hit they hit the Gribbix in the episode of that little pet, uh, the neutrinos little furry pet. Okay, fair enough. I actually forgot about that. I was gonna say that's a cartoon where I've never seen a laser hit anyone. Yeah. Alright, oh, don't tell me this is Renegade now. The subway. Mm-hmm. What the heck? Who is that? I'm just waiting for the guy from Renegade to just show up as the boss. 
Yeah, Carrot Top. Yeah, exactly. All right, now here's the boss of stage four. Um, I don't know what the heck that is. I don't think he's from the cartoon at all, unless it's from the 2003 cartoon or from the comic book. Um, okay, that, I was going to say Leatherhead, but then I realized his face looks totally wrong. Yeah, that's a mouse or something. Oh, ouch. Okay, Triple H. Stop using your sledgehammer. Oh, man, I forgot all about that whole thing. That's not a sledgehammer. It's a pickaxe, I think, actually. I think... He better... He better axe somebody. Mm-hmm. I think we better axe somebody, because he's hacking us up. It didn't look like at first. He just stuck into the ground. He just beat the shit out of him. Yeah, what's he shooting from his forehead? It looks like his mining helmet if that is what it that is like the little light there is shooting laser beams at you huh we need to mind his own business yeah he really does i guess it is his business we're in his territory so dang it freaking mouse maybe we get my cookie he'll leave us alone maybe i kind of want to look up who he is Probably some character they made up for this game only. <laughs> uh, that that could be true. I'm sure he has a name though, an official name in this game. If you look it up, but as far as like who he is in the cartoon, I don't, I don't know who think he exists. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. He kind of looked like a giant rat or like a mole. Yeah, well he doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, you whoop the hell out of him. Yeah. Thanks to ECW mode, I forgot to tell you that. Oh, that explains everything. Infinite lives? Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. So that is it for part three of the ECW project. We'll see you guys in part four. Until then, God bless and take care. All right, peace out, y'all.